Honestly, I shouldn't Caught up in my feelings Messed up and I'm sprung Something in your smile that It makes me wanna come over Can I come over? I wanna come over Thinking about your ocean Swimming pool is closed and I'm in the deep. Welcome back to the Barrett Channel. Welcome to another video. So this factory is a, I wouldn't say it's a smaller factory, but it's a factory that has a kind of more bespoke production line. So here they kind of specialize in um, higher end bikes, higher end electric bikes. And particularly, they are pretty famous for a, um, a delivery bike. So if, you, if you're abroad in Europe, you see people delivering pizzas or curries or, or you know, your takeaway food, there's a good chance the bike has come from this factory. So first of all, we're gonna show you the production line at this factory, and right now they have some uh, three wheelers um, on the production line. It's kind of strange because I haven't actually seen a lot of these three wheelers in the European market, but I'm told that over the years they've sold millions of these bikes and particularly they've sold a lot into Germany. Now, as I mentioned, they do really kind of high performance bikes here. So we're gonna go and have a, a whiz around and, and give them a try, which I'm kind of looking forward to because I'm a bit of a demon for speed when it comes to bikes. So before the bikes actually go on to the, the main production line, we have an area here which is like a sub-assembly. So just behind me here, you can see that the, uh, the tires are being applied to the wheel hub. So this is, this is one of the wheels that are gonna go on these three-wheeled bikes. As you see here, they're doing some sub-assembly on the chassis. They're, uh, they're fitting the wheels. Looks like some, some brake cables are being fitted. Uh, I could really see you. I could really see you in one of these three-wheeler bikes, mate. Oh yeah, it's like I mean, in my head, um, I've only kind of seen these for use for disabled people in the UK. I've never, I've, I've not really seen them out and about like people using them. I, I don't know. Apparently, they've sold a huge amount to Europe. I suppose um, they're comfortable. Here, this is the the motor that's used in. This is a you got a hub. Not a hub motor used in these. These are a, a normal motor with a differential, so maybe maybe it's called a differential motor. So once these sub-assemblies are built, um, this is a, the kind of basic framework. You've got the brake cables in here. You've got the steering on, you've got the wheels on. There's a little, uh, the electrical controllers in here. This is what, because obviously these vehicles are all um, electric power, they're, they're not petrol. And then, what you can see on these racks here and here, these are all like the sub-assemblies um, that will go onto the production line. So you can see various sort of parts. Um, that looks like some sort of mud guard. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is here. You've got the uh, all the, the sort of control panel. Oh no, that's a headlight. The headlight. That is. <laughs> you got the headlight. It looks like the control panel, doesn't it, a little bit? Here you've got a, a front wheel assembly. You've got a, a unicycle. The, yeah, yeah, a unicycle. <laughs> so this is the... Uh, you just put a seat on top and you'll and be good to go. Be away. Oh, that'd be a cool prop. Imagine you could put a seat on there, you had a little controller. Oh, yeah. A, like electric unicycle, <laughs> how cool would that be? That'd be well good. And then what we'll do, we'll go around now to the production line. We'll show you, show you. Oh, this, this, this guy is... Um, doing sub-assembly on the front wheels. This is all the front wheel assembly here. So we'll, we'll have a walk back round and, and we'll go onto the, the production line. So once all the sub-assembly is built, um, the bike then comes onto the, the main production line. And uh, as you can see here, they're connecting up various uh, cables and, and stuff like that. She's making sure it's all tidy. Um, this guy here looks like he's fitting the uh, handlebar and uh, dials assembly. And uh, you can see it's, it's all protected because they, they want to aim to, you know, they don't want scratches on the body and that. So then it, it sort of progresses down the line and various people are adding sort of bits and pieces to it. 
So a little cables are going in. This looks like a main battery connector. This this is um, some sort of cable release cable. I don't know exactly what it does, but move that little gold it, thing anyway. It's a release <laughs> for something. Um, Already we've got a couple of body panels on. Yeah, a couple of body panels on here. This guy here, he's putting the main kind of uh, rear body panel. Oh, there's batteries installed there, look. Well, that, that obviously goes for a long time. It's got, it's got four kind of big, oh, five big juicy batteries in there. Five batteries. Five big batteries in there. So obviously this is one where you don't remove the batteries. This will be one where somewhere the charger will plug into the actual bike. So it's not a removable battery model. And then obviously down a little space here for the number plate look. Oh yeah. Maybe Lee One or Ollie One on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta be something like that. And, uh, so I guess this is the ticket with a barcode on. So they can follow the, the whole order with the specification mm -hmm. through the system. Because I guess there might be little tweaks in specification for some of these. This guy is now fitting the seat. So this, the, the base of the seat's going on. What a huge seat that is. Yeah. Uh, these guys have now fitted the floor panel and, um, and all various other bits of it. They all seem to know their job, don't they? Yeah, these yeah, guys. I mean, these, these guys do this day in, day out, you know. They, they probably can do this with their eyes closed, I would imagine. You know, it's, it's such a, you got, they got all the, their box of the, box and all the screws they need there, so it's just a case of reach in. But let us know if, you, if, if you're in Europe or, or the US, let us know if you've seen people about on these, because they've apparently shipped millions, but I've actually never seen any of these in Europe, to be fair. Yeah, so if you are interested um, in, you know, getting in contact with this factory, find our email in the About section of our YouTube channel and, and we'll put you in touch. But once they get to here, this is pretty much complete. It's got all the mud guards on, it's got everything on. So what will then happen once it gets to this stage is complete. So it will be put over here and then at some point they will, they will test it. But I'm just going to have a little sit on here before that. So, yeah, this, this, <laughs> to be honest, this kind of bike really doesn't do it for me. It's the kind of bike I would expect to see an old person. Hey Lee, what are you doing on my bike? <laughs> Get off my bike, it's mine. Go and ride another one, okay? <laughs> so when we're coming down the production line, I mentioned that this factory are pretty famous for these um, delivery bikes. And this is one of them right here. And I really like this. I mean, this matte black is just absolutely amazing. And uh, this is one of the bikes we're going to be riding round on later to give it a try. And these do up to 80 kilometers an hour. And that's a, that's a big bike. You know, you have, your, you have your pizza on the back, you have your, your garlic bread on the front, and away you go, mate. I'm telling you, I could see myself delivering stuff on one of these, absolutely. So basically, if you were using this, mate, your pizzas would be there in double time. So he's Ollie thinking he's Mr. Joe Cool. See? He just thinks he's, he thinks he's the big cheese on that, doesn't he, eh? Look at him! You think you're the big cheese pizza boy on that, don't you, mate? And you look like a pizza delivery guy. Yeah, he's, really, he does. Know. He's, he's, he's got his pizza that, really. delivery hat on, look, see? He thinks he's the big cheese pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> So I think if I had one of these, I'd want to be a May Twan driver. So if you guys want to support the channel and buy me one of these, you know where to look. The graphics will be up here and the links will be down below. WeChat, buy me a coffee or Patreon. Do it for us, guys. See you later.